<laughs> What's up? Today we're going to take a look at this uh, new-ish local trail. Hopefully I can learn something. Hopefully you can learn something so I can go faster, smoother, and uh, ultimately take the KOM. Today I am on my trusty specialized uh, stump jumper Evo. It's the pro build, basically bone stock. I'm on the S3. I downsize a little bit. Everyone's been talking smack, saying it's too small for me. Look at that that dropper post mass, mass we have, it's pretty big and I probably need a little longer dropper post, but I prefer the smaller bike, the smaller geo. It's a little, little more playful for most of the local trails. This is my daily whip. I ride it most often and uh, I enjoy it. Once it gets a little technical, I tend to want to bump up. I'd probably be on the bigger size, but I got my enduro for that. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're up to today. Oh, I'm on flats, flat pedals. Someone says they win medals and uh, I'm just, I've been riding flats, it's fun. Kind of revamps all those old skills with pulling, pulling with your feet and making sure you learn and know how to bunny hop correctly and all that stuff. But let's take a look. I've ridden this trail a couple times and uh, we'll see how it goes. There's one guy, local guy, shout out to uh, Chris Patey, AKA Shredding Spree. He's, uh, he's got the fastest time right now. So we're gonna look at lines. I'm gonna go through my thought process and uh, we're gonna take him down. So. Follow along. Couldn't even make it 100 feet and I already found out that I'm a squid. I think, at least. That we're, we got this little section here. Um, it's right around the beginning, first couple hundred yards. And there's a little water bar right here into this, uh, this little downhill facing lefty. And I think the main line is obviously just to ride down the trail, hit the corner or hit the little roller, hit the corner and then keep going. And I think the goal is always to straighten stuff out as much as possible and see where you can maintain all your speed, keep the bike going straight so you can be off the brakes. And I think I can pull up off this little roller and we might have to be do some uh, in air bush trimming, hedge trimming, but land kind of right on the inside of this thing and just go straight into that next right. It might not end up being faster. Um, I don't even know if I can jump it, but I'm gonna try. So uh, I'll probably do one run of each main line and then the jump line and see uh, if we can make all these little micro gains throughout, throughout the whole trail. All right, uh, step one complete, hit the jump. They're about the same, probably like barely any faster, but uh, all these little, little fractions of seconds here and there add up and that definitely saves a bit of energy, I think, and you just end up going straighter. So on to the next. We've been getting quite a lot of rain here in Southern California, as I'm sure most of you guys know or don't know. And with that means rain ruts. And rain ruts can be kind of scary and yeah, can intimidate quite a few people. But on something like this that has a nice rain rut down it into the corner, it can help you pretty significantly turn, um, just like a rut on a motorcycle track. Uh, it gives you that little bit more of an angle to lean on and push against. So, don't be afraid sometimes to hop in, hop in uh, fairly manageable ruts and, and let them take you down the trail. So right after that rutted corner, the trail comes across this fire road section and it's kind of open and free. And the, the main line kind of hugs right and turns at a pretty natural angle and then goes up this little hill before you turn left again. And like I said earlier, we're working on straightening corners out as much as possible. So the goal is for here, looks kind of marbly, so it might be kind of sketchy, but I'm gonna come inside of the main line, just in this kind of kind of grass here, so I can straighten, straighten into the next corner and be as wide as possible going into that next left. So let's give it a shot. Setup is everything. Um, as you just saw, I come into that next corner way wider than the main line. 
I even snuck a few pedal strokes in there because I had so much more time. I was going straighter and ultimately out of that next corner, I was exiting faster, which, uh, which that's key. Marginal gains, baby. I know I just said to use the rain runs to your benefit, but sometimes that's not always the best idea. I got this section here. It's a right into a hard left, um, pretty steep. You're coming in super hot on the binders. And uh, I hit the right super good. The traction's unbelievable right now, so it's, it's making this a lot easier. But hit the right super hard, and then I pull over, pull over the rain rut and hop over it because, like I've been saying this entire time, uh, widening your corners, making sure your apex is nice and round, and uh, ultimately keeping, maintaining speed is everything right now. So I hop to the outside, get as wide as I can for the super hard left after, and uh, we'll show you the rain rut that I'm hopping over here in a second. But uh, yeah, this is working. I'm hitting this really good right now. KOM's as good as mine, baby. <laughs> Slower. <laughs> Some stuff doesn't exactly work always. Uh, coming out of a pretty slow corner, I thought maybe I could bunny hop this little ditch, but uh, it requires a little too much effort and a little too much yank where the OG line of just rolling in, pumping in and out of this little, little divot here, it's the way to go. So trial and error, onward we go. And as you just saw in that last clip, these are super tight, hard to keep momentum, um, and they're super loose. And being able to cut one to the inside and just keep your momentum going a little bit more helps a lot. So uh, there's people coming to the inside right here. And uh, I know I'm not the only one, so I'm gonna give it a shot too. We got a slide. I figured they're kind of all over the trails here. Um, but yeah, mud slid down onto the trail and it looks like people are just kind of going to the right of it. I don't think it'll affect uh, the speed or the pace of the trail too much, but, but uh, just wanted to show you guys. I think we'll pop down to the right and keep flowing, maybe come out of this corner a little earlier and just go in. It's nice, not too, uh, not too technical, nothing too, too grabby or snipery. So uh, yeah, on to the next. All right, so the trail exit is a little sketchy, so I think it's pretty crucial for, uh, for the Strava segment to just be on your toes and to be able to understand and know where the trail goes. Kind of pops you onto a pretty, pretty popular road right next to the freeway. Um, I'm sure some cars will come by as I'm talking here. But uh, yeah, coming out of here confidently and hugging close to the road and not blowing into the road is super, super important. So uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much the trail. Uh, I'm gonna take a rip. I'm gonna pedal it back up to the top, go for a lap, hit it as fast as I can, and uh, hopefully the KOM is mine. I'll, I'll give you the results whether it is or isn't, and go from there. We're back up at the top. I gave her a go and it wasn't good enough. Just a second off again. Made some mistakes as I'm sure you'll see in the video. A couple bobbles. And uh, man, I don't know, this is tough. Chris, uh, I know you're a good rider, Chris, but dang, you're ripping. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give her another go. Got another shot. The only bummer is it's kind of windy out and the dirt's drying out quite quickly, but uh, it is what it is, baby. Let's give her another shot. Onward and off.
All right, we came, we saw, and we conquered. Took me two tries, but the KOM is mine. We took it. We took it back from my friend, my good friend Chris. Got to give it to him, man. He is on rails. Um, that was harder than I had anticipated, but uh, we got it. It required absolutely no mistakes and had to be absolutely pinned on the pedals everywhere, everywhere we, I could be, um, but we got it. So uh, yeah, anyways, if you like this video, do the old dandy and hit her with a like. And please, if you don't mind, tell me some suggestions on what to do in the comments. I have no idea what I'm doing here on YouTube, but I told myself I would do some more videos here. Um, and I'm stoked to do it. So any suggestions from you, from you guys um, would be much appreciated. And uh, yeah, much love to all of you. And we'll see you out here on the next one.